Hello and welcome to our series of videos on uh, ease of use. Uh, the first video we're going to be looking at today is our gathering link intelligence video. Um, so let's start by uh, giving you a little bit of context here. Um, the customer that we're going to be working with uh, has three internet links. Uh, two of those are going to be DSLs and one of those is going to be a cable connection. Uh, and we're going to bond all of those together um, to get the uh, total bonded aggregate. And uh, what we need to do, what this first video is going to show us, is um, what these advertised link speeds are actually going to do in the real world and where the saturation point is going to be hit uh, so that we know exactly what these lines are capable of before we go and we put them in a bond. What we're going to see is we're going to see the multiplied dashboard. Uh, we're going to see the built-in uh, speed test tool uh, so that we can tell uh, you know what the legs are doing and um, we're then going to be able to understand where the transmission limit of each connection is so where we actually hit that breakage or saturation point uh, this is a really really important piece of building our bond because we really want to understand uh, you know what our, our legs are capable of doing on their own before we put them into a bond so here we are in our management interface this is a web-based GUI that's kind of a command and control for everything that's going on with the bonds now the first thing I want to go over here is the concept of knowing exactly what your legs are doing versus the advertised bandwidth of what we think the legs should be able to do. This is a very very important concept when it comes to building a bond. We need to be able to set the high watermark and let the bonding technology know that no matter what this is the top clean range of this line before we start to see breakage and there's no point in trying to go any faster and when we get that information what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and we're gonna enter it into our leg information itself so that we know that we've established a good clean starting point for the bond now there's lots of command line utilities that you can use to accomplish this but we were really passionate about developing something that was easy and quick to use to help you provision up your bonds with the most accuracy and the least amount of time and effort. So we went and we built the speed test interface and let me just run through what a typical test would look like. Now as I've mentioned we're pretty far from the CO here and the two DSL lines we have are really not that strong. So let me go and pick on the weakest of the two, leg 51 currently in ETH1 and I'm gonna run a quick TCP download test I'm not gonna rate limit it at all I'm gonna give it five seconds to run I'm gonna add some concurrency to make sure I really really maximize the bandwidth in that pipeline and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna hit test and what it's gonna do is it's gonna take this leg out of the bond and it's gonna push it as hard as it possibly can to find that point where this line breaks so the results we get back are about what I would expect we hit about 2.5 megs on our 6 meg DSL line. We've got some packet loss in there that's not great, but what I'm really concerned about is this latency. 250 milliseconds of average latency on my DSL line is not what I want to see. I can also see down here on the latency graph that the latency is really all over the place. So I'm pretty sure I've now pushed this line to the point where it's broken and I need to go back and rerun this test a few times now adding a little bit of rate limiting in starting around 2.5 so that I can see exactly where this line breaks and know that that's the good point where I want to put this line into the bond and then we know exactly what this line can do and that will help us set our bond up so now that I have that initial result, I can go back into the speed test. And as I was previously saying, I'm going to go and I'm going to run some concurrent tests you can see here in small increments with different levels of rate limiting. And when I'm done, I'm going to end up with a whole bunch of results here. And what I can do with those results is I can select them all. And once they're selected, I can hit compare tests. And what that's going to do is it's going to give me a nice graph here. And what I can do is I can follow along with my rate limiting along the bottom so that I can see where the latency is stable and then where it starts to increase. And I know that that's the point where I've hit breakage and that that's the point where I should really try to avoid pushing the line any higher than. Now the important thing to note here is that the latency is stable and the throughput is still going up. But right at the point in time where the latency goes into a really, really bad state, the throughput is no longer increasing. So I know that right there is the sweet spot of the high point where I want to set that line when I put it into the bond.